Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we are going to take a look at the swipe gesture recognizer. So that is recognizing when your user either swipes up or to the left or to the right or down on your screen and then perform a certain action in response to that swipe gesture. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. So if that is something you want to dive into, delve into and find more, uh, fig and learn more about, then this is the video for you. So let's start by creating a Xcode project. And I'm going to make this a single view application and call it swipe. And I'm going to save it on my desktop and then jump straight over to our storyboard. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to lay out a very, very simple app. All our app is going to consist of is two view controllers. So let's drag in one more view controller. And then I'm just going to click on my first one and then select a background color so that we can tell the difference between the two view controllers. So for example, orange and then blue. Now all our app is going to do is when we swipe to the left, we are going to transition over to the blue view controller. And then when we swipe to the right, we're going to transition back to the orange view controller. And as you can see, we can also implement some fancy segue so that it looks pretty fancy. Now, what we're going to have to do is just click on this yellow button, control drag over to the blue one and click on show in order to create a segue. And I'm going to click on remind me in an hour, <laughs> but you probably don't have to do that. And then we're going to click on that segue and name it, for example, swipe left. I'm just going to copy that because we're probably going to need it. And then we're going to take this one and drag over to our orange one, show. And I'm going to name this transition swipe right. And that's going to be right but because when I swipe that way, we won't. Yeah, exactly. Swipe right. So here we have set up all our storyboard. Everything is looking exactly as we wanted to. But there's one more thing that we need, and that is to create another view controller file that we can add to our second view controller. So I'm just going to click on new file and I'm going to make this a Cocoa and probably if you don't know where it is, it's file, new and then file. And then we're going to make this a Cocoa touch class and I'm just going to name it view controller 2. Make sure that it's subclass of UI view controller next and I'm just going to save it where it recommends me to save it. So here we have our two view controllers. Let's just head back to storyboard. This is the final adjustment that we need to make here in our storyboard. And let's just, let's just add the view controller to, to it. So now we can get into our swipe gesture recognizer, which is the reason that you're watching this video. So if you now head over to view controller, within the view did load method, we can now add a gesture recognizer. So a listener basically that sits on our view controller and waits for a swipe. And the second he notices a swipe, he's telling us and we can fire a function in response to that. The way we do that is we first of all create our uh, left swipe uh, because yeah, left swipe is equal to UI swipe gesture recognizer. And then we can add a, add a target, which is self. And then we're also going to add an action or a function that's going to be performed when uh, a gesture is recognized. So that's going to be selector and then a function that we're going to create and that can be called swipe action. And it's going to accept a parameter, uh, a pa pa parameter, parameter of swipe. There we go. So we're basically going to call a function that we haven't created yet named swipe action. And in response to that, we're going to call, let me see, we're going to create a function named swipe action that's called every time a gesture is recognized. And so that both of our view controllers can access this function. I'm just going to make it an extension of UI view controller. And then we can write our function down here and that way it's accessible by our view controller and our second view controller. So let's create our func, which is swipe, you see swipe action. And it's going to take on a swipe parameter of type UI swipe gesture recognizer. 
and as a result we are going to perform a certain action and by using a switch statement we can check if it has which type of swipe it has been because this swipe gesture recognizer is being called each time oh let me see we need to add a, a couple of lines more which is left swipe dot direction which is pretty essential actually ui swipe gesture recognizer direction dot left so that it only listens for swipe that's, that goes to left. As you can see, we can listen for down, left, right, up, all that crazy stuff, but we're just going to go with left. And then we're going to add the gesture to our view. Add the gesture. And our gesture is our left swipe. There we go. So now we have our swipe implemented. And now we can listen for a swipe and perform a certain action based on which type of swipe it is. So first of all, we're going to use a switch statement here. And the value that we're going to inspect is swipe dot direction dot raw value. So the first case is going to be the case of two, which is going to be our left swipe. And as a result of noticing that swipe, we're going to perform a segue with the identifier go right, because we want to go right when the user swipes left. As you will see, that's pretty intuitive when we launch the app and the sender is just going to be self. And as a default, we're just going to break our statement. Nothing more to do there. So let's launch this and let's see if it works as we want it to. And if it does, we're going to be able to swipe left. And as a result, we're going to go to the right. Let's see if that's the case. And nothing much is happening there. And that's because we probably don't, we probably call the segue. Yeah, we need to change the names here. Let's just jump straight, go back here. And this one we are going to name. This is actually going to be called swipe left. Well, what, what did I call it? Let's see. Go right. Okay. So let's paste that in. Go right. And then here we're just going to call it go left in order to keep this uniform so let's launch it one more time and now fingers crossed that this is going to work it 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 really should okay so now let's try to swipe left and there we go so we're swiping left and something cool is happening and now if we swipe right we want to go back the way we do that is very simple all we do is we add another case here so the, our first case case one that the raw value is equal to one that means that we have detected a left swipe and as a result we're going to go to the left and then all we need to do is copy this these lines of code right here jump over to our view controller 2 paste it in and just name this right swipe copy this and paste it in right here and change this out with right and then add right swipe. Now let's launch this and now we will be able to navigate back and forth by swiping in either direction. Here we have our app. I swipe to the left and I swipe to the right and I can go on and I can go on and I can go on, on. So this is awesome. But as you can see, the swipe is a bit strange because we're swiping to the left and it goes up. A way you can fix that is simply by heading over to your storyboard select the segue and instead of uh, selecting show you can select uh, present modally and then you can choose a transition of flip horizontal and you can choose that for the other one also let's see uh, present modally and then f let's see flip horizontal and now we can launch it and as you can see it is a bit more fancy transition uh, but what you also will see is that I'm, I'm going to show you instead of explaining it If we now swipe as you can see we now get this nice transition when we swipe to the left and to the right As you can see it's probably more intuitive if you swipe left and then it can because um, If if you swipe left both times the only reason I didn't do that is because I wanted to demonstrate how you check for the direction um, but one more thing I just want to show you and you don't have to do this I just want to show you how fancy this can get I'm going to change this out with up and I am going to let's see 
just perform I'm going to delete all of this let me see I'm going to make this as fast as possible I just wanted to demonstrate some funky stuff if you just where to listen for the up so go right uh, there we go swipe and I make that up and also here make that up and then we can add this function right here let's see this is a bit messy right now I know that um, that's why this is an ideal but I just want to show you something let's see paste that in and then I copy this head over to my second view controller paste in the function here oops let's see I copy that by mistake yeah this is pretty messy but let's let's just go with it there we go go and I change this out with go left and now if I jump over to my main storyboard and I select instead of flip horizontally partial curl and also here partial curl I can launch this application and I will be able to navigate my two view controllers like I would a book and this is a way you can create a book or a note app you simply do like this so I can swipe up now and as you can see I can go on in infinity swiping from page to page just like if I would create a note app then I could swipe from note to note and just change out the text on each view controller each time I do this so that was me just demonstrating something that you could do there are many ways of course you can use this uh, swipe gesture recognizer these are one of the ways as transitions but of course you can use them for almost whatever you want to use them for so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for the next video other than that thank you very much for watching